Good morning, everyone. Today is March 2nd, and it is snowing. I don't know if you can see outside here, but it's like we have so much snow. It's crazy. Anyway, I am getting ready. I might be working today, but I might not be. We'll have to see, because I'm not sure how what the driving conditions are. So, we're gonna do like a little test drive right now. And I'm gonna drive with Andrew to his job to make sure that I feel comfortable driving or not. And if I don't, then I'll just come back home. And if I do, then I'll just go and do the things that I had planned to do today. We'll see, I'm not sure how well they're plowing the roads yet. The roads yet. I'm not sure how well they're plowing the roads yet. So we'll see. But we do have snow tires. We have studded snow tires on our car, so it's pretty. it feels pretty safe when you drive. Anyway, I have taken a watermelon with me today, and that's it so far. I'm not sure what else I'll eat today. I really enjoy drinking the prune juice, and I already had a bowel movement, which is great. And I had another one last night, so I had two yesterday evening, and one today, this morning, which is great. So I'm really, really happy about that and they were they were all really really easy so my uh intestines and digestive system is moving which is great that's so great so i'm really 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 happy about that anyway i just wanted to let you know about that because that's i'm sure information <laughs> that people don't really talk about but it's actually really really important so i guess i will keep you posted with how my day plays out and what I am eating. So until later, enjoy the rest of your day and have a wonderful one. My plans have changed a little bit today. I was gonna go work with the family that I usually work with today on Fridays, but it is so snowy, 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 snowy outside. The Andrew and I went to go just test out the roads because we have um, a four wheel drive car with snow tires on, sun is snow tires actually. And the, we did pretty well, but the roads are not plowed. There's tree branches in the roads. It's, it's a little crazy, so uh, I ended up not going, which is great. The people that I work with, they're totally understanding of that, which is awesome. So since we're home and I'm feeling a little hungry right now, I was planning to break my fast today with watermelon, but the durian smells really good, so I'm gonna eat some durian instead. <laughs> I didn't want to take it with me because it does smell intense and it could be a little bit intense for people, so I didn't take durian with me, but I'm excited that we're home now because now I'm gonna break it with durian and maybe have some prune juice today, maybe some watermelon, I'm not sure, but definitely eating durian and I definitely want the prune juice, so that's what my plan is for the day so far and I might I'm deciding whether or not to create recipes today I really really want to however it's a little bit difficult to wash our dishes right now because of all the snow to walk through the snow with all the dishes is a little bit complicated so I might just end up doing a reading slash editing YouTube video day or learning how to edit a little bit better day instead of creating recipes, even though that's literally all I want to do right now. All I want to do is cook. So anyway, I had this little durian, it's so cute. This one right here. And what's really cool though, it kind of split open already. Do you see how this seems? I don't know if you can see it. Let's focus. Let's focus. You see how it kind of split open like that? It's just gonna be so easy to open up. <sighs> Look at that, so awesome, right? So cool.
Okay, so it's still a little bit cold because it was frozen, but it pulled apart really easily, and I'm really excited to try this, so. It's not quite as good as the other one I had the other day, but pretty good. All right, so I'm deveining the yucca. They have like these little veins in here. I don't know if you can see them. But they're like not really edible and they're kind of annoying when you get them. So I'm just deveining them. This is um, what yucca looks like after you boil it. Um, I don't know if you've seen. Focus. There we go. So this is what yucca looks like. And a lot of people put like olive oil on it. It's, it's really good. I mean, I thoroughly enjoy it. I really like it. Um, so yeah, I boiled up a whole bunch last night, you see. see? And they look like this before you boil them. You have to take the skin off. You see? They're like white. And they're long. So. I really, 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 really like Yuka. I really, 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 really like Yuka. So. So there's the yucca, and we'll just reheat it when we decide we want to eat it. We'll probably boil it up again and add some sofrito, all that stuff. I'm excited. All right, I did have that durian, but I'm still feeling a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna eat one of these little apple bananas. They're really tiny and cute uh, because I'm just I'm still feeling hungry. I don't know what's happening, but it's okay. I'm gonna go with it. I don't know if this is right enough, but. Yeah. Definitely need to ripen a little bit more. But, you know, pretty good. Okay, so I was still feeling hungry and I really want something salty. So I know according to the protocol I'm supposed to be sticking to fruit this week but I just really really want tomatoes which is a fruit that is a fruit but I also added some greens to it so I just made myself like a little simple salad it has some pea shoots in it pea shoots with tomatoes apple cider vinegar half of a lime and I put some black pepper on it so I'm gonna see how this digests and I'm definitely still planning to eat the grape juice drink the grape juice later, but I just really, 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 really wanted some sort of salty tasting thing. And that could also be with my period happening still. I'm not, it's not quite done yet. So that could just be something with that. I usually crave salt. Like I usually want to eat like potato chips and stuff and ice cream, but I'm obviously not doing that for sure. That's something that I won't do, but I'm also just struggling to be okay with what I'm choosing to eat as opposed to what people say that I should eat. I know like it's really good to listen to the advice of people who have been doing this but I really 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 want to eat this. And we'll see. I'll see how it goes, see how I feel and I'll just keep you posted but I've been feeling really good. Today I was really tired actually because we went to bed around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning and woke up at 4.30, 5 o'clock. So it was a little difficult for me to wake up this morning because we've been just going to bed so late. You know, so anyway, that's something that I've been working on. We have to work on, we want to work on going to bed a little bit er earlier than what we've been going to bed. But that's a work in progress still, and we're getting the swing of things. But anyway, I'm planning to eat this. Don't 
delicious smelling salad. It smells really good. So, yes, thought I'd keep you posted with that because I'm just, you know, having a little bit of trouble right now. But it's not trouble. Like, these are, this is like great, vibrant food though. So, for me, it's like I feel okay eating it. And I think it would be different if I decided to eat like an entire plate of potatoes or steamed veggies right now because I think that I'm still having my digestion starting to work again. I think that would just really clog me back up. But I don't think that tomatoes with some pea shoots would necessarily affect me the same way as eating an entire bowl of yuca or potatoes after not eating for so long. So. But I mean, it's been nine days. But anyway, I'll just keep you posted. If I also don't feel good, I'll just go right back onto the fast or do something. Probably do a Kalima board or an enema or something like that. So. That salad was amazing. It was exactly what I wanted. It was like the flavors that I needed to satisfy whatever craving I was having. I did put some lime juice in there and apple cider vinegar. And it was just like, it was amazing. It was really good. I think I'll probably want to eat that later. <laughs> Which, you know, I'm gonna be more accepting of myself like that's what I'm working on like what I just ate right now I know it's not quite following the protocol but that was really really good and it was raw and it was fresh fruits and vegetables and well actually it's pea shoots that I had so pea shoots you know they're like little babies they're not even like the grown vegetables and Anyway, that was amazing. I'll probably have that a little bit later. Again, because it was that good. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. Super simple, super delicious, wonderful. Glad I made that choice. And I feel great. Now I'm gonna go just relax a little bit, read, maybe watch some YouTube videos. I haven't seen a lot. I haven't seen any videos, YouTube videos in a while. So I'm just gonna take this day to do that. And just come up with some ideas and maybe take the time to edit the video that I was working on the other day. Um, I just haven't, I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm, but this, that's how you learn, you just practice, and so that's what I'm doing right now. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you, it's really, really good. I feel so blessed, so blessed to have access to fruits and vegetables. In the tundra, like <laughs> snowing so much, you know. So anyway, I'm just really, really blessed. I'm really, I'm really thankful. So until next time, my next meal, I will keep you posted. Hello. So I was reading and watching some YouTube videos, and then I got really tired, probably because I didn't really sleep that much last night. So I took a little nap for about. 45 minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes, and I just woke up. I'm feeling a little thirsty right now, so I think that I'm gonna start drinking some of my prune juice and then see how I feel after I drink that. I am, this might be a little bit too much information, but my period's pretty much almost done-ish. It's really light. It wasn't, it was pretty light just in general, not like anything that I've had before. Usually my period is very heavy and I worry about leaking, and that didn't happen at all, actually. I use a Keeper, which is like a Diva cup, but it's made out of rubber, and I didn't leak once, so that was really great. And basically, I don't really have that much blood coming out anymore, which is also nice. So, I thought I'd share that, because that's very interesting, but I think that that can also be contributing to why I'm feeling tired because when you have your period you lose a lot of energy because your body's getting rid of a lot of things because it's getting rid of toxins that no longer serve you and anyway so that's maybe also why I'm feeling a little tired too and craving kind of weird things but not like intense cravings like I'm not going crazy and eating cookies and pasta and all that stuff. I'm just eating tomatoes and pea shoots and some durian. The durian today was like really not very good. I ate it, but it was just like not very flavorful. 
It just wasn't like the other durian I had the other day, but it was a small one. I, I didn't even like eat. I mean, I didn't like pick the pot, like the seeds clean like I usually do, but it was fine. So it just wasn't exactly what I had wanted and hoped for. So anyway, I'm gonna have my prune juice now and see how I feel after drinking some of that. So. And also, I just want to make a note that I haven't actually been drinking any water. I haven't had water since I started my fast in October. So I'm gonna see how that goes to you. When I'm thirsty, instead of drinking water, I've been drinking juice. So either prune juice or coconut water. I mean, coconut water is the only water I've been drinking, but I have not been drinking water, like well water or filtered water or anything. I haven't been drinking any water since October. So that's also been very interesting experience. Yes. Anyway, that's that's that. <laughs> yes. Anyway, I'm gonna drink my prune juice now. If you haven't noticed, whenever I bend down for something, it's because I'm getting something in our refrigerator. Our refrigerator is a mini fridge without a freezer that lives underneath our counters. As well, we do have a freezer. It's a chest freezer that also lives underneath our counter. So whenever I'm getting something or reaching down, it's usually because our fridge is there. Just letting you know. And here's the prune juice. really good so I'm gonna drink this and just hang out upstairs and I'm actually wanting to read some more I really want to finish the book that I'm reading Proteinaholic by Dr. Garth Davis and I want to move on to the next book either Starch Solution or How Not to Die I am giving the book um, what is it paleo fantasy a little bit of a break right now because I'm just really interested in eating things because I've I read Shauna Virtue's book and it kind of confused me because she has a really fit body that I'm very interested in achieving for myself. I want to be, I want to feel really good about my body, the way it looks. Like I feel really good right now. I feel, I have lost a lot of weight and I know that, but I really want to also be muscular and be able to do things like handstands and things like that, body weight things. And I really like the things that she says, but then when she talks about food, that's a little bit confusing because she, like everyone else in the world, is very protein-centered. So that's something I don't really want to do for myself, and I don't know if I'll get the results that she says that will happen from following her workouts, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't... That's something that I've been wanting to read the Proteinaholic book because I was just like, I really don't want to eat as much protein as she's saying. Like she recommended eating two serving size, which is the palm of your hand of protein for your meals, I believe. I have to reread it, but so basically like a serve, two servings of tofu or two servings of beans and you know, adding protein powder to your oatmeal and all this stuff. and. I stay there thinking, hmm, I don't really feel like this is resonating with me. Her exercises are great. I love the fact that she focuses on form. She focuses on form, which is really, really, really important to me. 
and I really, really like that. So Andrew and I are hoping to start her workout routine this week, starting Monday, I wanna say. We'll probably start on Monday. And I'm just really excited about that because she does use like a lot of, mostly body weight. She does use some kettlebells, which we did invest in. We have some kettlebells. And I started on like the lowest weight possible because I haven't really lifted anything in a while. Yesterday I was lifting a case of grapefruit juice, uh, the Concord grape juice that we bought from Trader Joe's. And it's just like a lot, it's a lot for me to do where it used to be much easier before. So I'm really excited to build that up again. And I just decided to get this, the lightest weights for now just to be able to work up to it and not hurt myself. That was one of the things because I w I'd rather have the correct form using lighter weights and then eventually work up to it than going harder and heavier before I'm ready. So anyway, that's that. This tastes really great. I'm gonna go upstairs and enjoy it and I will let you know if I will eat anything else. I not really planning on it if I do anything it'll probably be, it will probably be the pea shoots and some tomato with lime juice and the apple cider vinegar like I had a little bit earlier today because that really felt good within my body and felt good for me and there was no salt added to that but it was nice to have the salty taste of those things so Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Hello there. So it's really dark in here because our town has lost power. <laughs> with the snow, it must have messed up the lines. I don't know. I guess, you know, something happened with that. So we have no power right now. But luckily, we have our wood stove. So Andrew just got home, actually. And he's going to run out to um, the, sh the shed to go get some wood for us. And I made my little salad. I did a, a workout. I did uh, part of Shauna Virtue's workout just to test it out. I didn't do the whole thing. So I did that and I started to do um, Doc, Gen, Doc Gen Fit's mobility method. And that was really kind of fun. I got to film myself and see where I have a few issues and where I need to work on some mobility things. So that's really awesome. I decided to have another salad with the pea shoots and the tomato with apple cider vinegar and lime juice on it. And I also have a coconut that I opened up. I opened up this coconut here. I am feeling a little bit like stuff, itchy kind of stuff here, you know, when your throat is starting to hurt. But I've kind of felt that throughout the whole fast. So I have a lot of things that are cleaning out in here, I think, which is great. That's really, really good. And I think the exercise maybe kind of stirred things up and it was really good. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that's what I'm eating. I don't even know if you can see, you can really see any of this because it's so dark here. You can see like the salad I have there and the coconut water. So I'm drinking the coconut water first and then have my salad. And then that's, I'm not sure how the rest of the night is gonna play out because of this lack of electricity, but we have some lights and things like that. So I think we'll be okay. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful night enjoy your evening and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Like, give it a thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see updates of our videos and please comment. We'd love to hear from you. All right.